Chris, uh, devastating loss at the end there against Sheffield. What are your initial post-match thoughts? Well, we're all gutted, obviously. We couldn't. It, it comes to that area at the, at the end of the game, but we couldn't play that first half and give ourselves so much to do, um, which is basically why we should be in the lead in that game and, and take it control it because we, was, we we felt like the better side. Like last week, we felt like the better. Although this week, sorry, on Monday, we felt like the better side. Um, so it's really devastating. We're all gutted. Because that's it's a four-point game. It would have been two points for us and two points less for them. So it's massive for us, and all the balls, all the boys are feeling it, and I am too. I'm absolutely gutted. Obviously, you want to do more out there. Um, obviously, you beat yourself up over like little kicks and things like that. So that would keep taking the game with you. But you can do what you do, and um, just work harder and come back harder. You crossed the whitewash for an 18 all. What was going through your mind at that moment? Before the kick or afterwards? Uh, before the kick. Um, just do your job because you, you do them all day, every day at training and you practice for them sort of occasions. So it's literally just take your time, make sure you're concentrating, get the ball over and then go back and reset. So we, that's what we did. I've luckily went over um, and try and get as close as you can, try and get to steal that one point from, from them. But the kickoff obviously is that where we made a little error, ball's gone out. Um, and then give them too much field possession, forget the one point which we're all obviously beating ourselves up about. Personal achievement today, I'm told, 50th conversion, uh, despite the scoreline, a, a little nice bonus for yourself. Yeah, it's nice always to find, get some kicks over, hopefully I can get 50 more pretty soon. <laughs> and you've just been in the in the changing rooms then, what, how are the boys feeling after that 19 I'd imagine, months? just gutted, obviously it's a huge game for us, when you need to, when you need to beat these teams that are in and around you, um, because there's a lot of, real, we're obviously the part-time teams, there's a, um, a second half table clash, so you need, just need to make sure you're getting as many, many points as you can. Um, obviously, we feel like we've lost a point on Monday, we've lost two points here. Um, we just need to really bounce back and work hard in the change rooms and obviously on the field in training and then put it to practice. But we just need to execute our plays. That's the main thing. A uh, quick preview you have Halifax next in round 11. How do you expect the boys to respond from today's loss? Um, well, we're picking up, obviously, we're getting to a kick, completing our sex, giving less penalties. Uh, obviously, you, you get the odd one in the game, but just trying to really grind it out. Halifax are Good side, good, um, been run well, play some good, uh, good shape, and we know we know we can put points in teams. And obviously, if we defend well, we're getting get, getting a few big middles in now, um, which is helping us out in the middle. We're really getting up the fifty. Um, so if we can do that again, put in, put a good stint, hopefully get the result. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Right, cheers, Pat.